Hey there guys, Zelda42293 here, welcome back to Love is Strange. Good news, we finally have the music fixed. I know the past couple videos there hasn't been any background music. Uh, thankfully I was able to fix that. So, um, in the last episode we ended up making Kate smile because she was having some problems with the school bullies and that's quite harsh, who could be mean to Kate? Um, in this episode we're going to be going into the Thursday portion of the route and I believe we're going to be taking the contest photo. Wowzer, time goes by way too fast. I felt like I barely slept and it's already morning. Today, Kate and I take the photo for our contest entry. I couldn't sit still through my classes that day and the second my last class ends, I rush to the principal's office to grab the keys to the roof. Keys in hand, I decide to text Kate and ask her to, ask her to meet me outside the school so that we can head there together. Time for lights, camera, action. Paint the outside black wall soon? I don't have to wait long for Kate's response. Finally! I'll see you outside. Awesome. She's totally excited for this. I think talking in her room last night really helped the both of us. I don't feel nervous about the contest at all. I look up at the sky at the heavy clouds. It looks like rain. Probably should have brought an umbrella, but I was too busy thinking about taking the photo. Oh crap, the photo! I hope we can get a shot from the roof that doesn't look too depressing. It wouldn't feel quite apropos considering the week Kate's been having. At least she's been having a good time with me. We had such a fun time yesterday just walking around with each other. A complete 180 from the day before. She seemed so nervous and sad when she told me about being bullied. I didn't want her to be alone after I made her admit that. But yesterday seemed totally okay, laughing and smiling like the bad stuff was all behind her. Hopefully it is. I'd hate to see her hiding away in her room again. The thought makes me anxious, especially when ten minutes pass since I got Kate's reply. I pull out my phone, debating on sending another text to check on her, just in case. Max! Hey! I feel a gentle hand on my shoulder and I turn around to see Kate. I can't, I can't stop the relieved smile that spread across my face. There's my partner. She smiles and looks away, a little shy. I didn't mean to keep you waiting so long. She holds up her other hand, showing me the umbrella she's carrying. I wanted to grab my umbrella since, well, it looks like we might get a little wet on the roof. I nod. Kate's more prepared than me, the supposed professional here. Good idea. I, on the other hand, am going to get soaked. Kate giggles, shaking her head. Now, Max, what kind of partner would I be if I left you out in the rain? It's a big umbrella, plenty of room for the two of us. So you don't mind sharing. So hopefully you don't mind sharing. We both smile at that. Thanks, Kate. You're an angel. I say it without even thinking about it, and it actually makes Kate pause. For a second, I'm worried that I offended her, but the grin that appears on her face the next moment kills that theory. I should probably be the one calling you that. You were so sweet to me yesterday. Thank you. It meant a lot to me. A little blush spreads across my face. It means a lot to me to hear that, Kate. And to see her smiling again. And I still have to get you back for buying me a gift. I shake my head and touch Kate's arm gently. Don't worry about it, seriously. I'm just glad you had fun. Obviously, a fun day can't fix all of Kate's problems, but just the fact that it made her forget about them for a while, that's good enough for me. She still looks a little unsure, so I nudge her shoulder gently with mine. If you say so, I'm glad I brought my umbrella for us, and it's the least I can do. We both glance up at the sky, still gloomy and dark, and Kate steals a glance at me. This weather doesn't worry you? She sounds a little tense, hugging herself around the race with one arm. Why would... Oh, right, the photo. She sighs quietly, then looks at me with a small, determined smile. But we should be okay, right? Maybe I should be a little worried. Our photo shoot sh could totally get rained out, and we don't really have any time to relocate. But somehow, even if the worst happens, I feel like everything will work out. I can't really explain it, but having Kate here with me makes me unafraid. Even after getting bullied all week, she can still be brave. Have hope, keep smiling.
It's really inspiring. I'm really lucky to have Kate as my partner. If she can keep a positive outlook, then so can I. I believe in us. We can do this, Kate. I believe in us. Her grin gets bigger. I have faith in us too, Max. I just hope the weather cooperates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I reach out and grab her hand, gently squeezing it. We're gonna get a great photo anyway. She looks down at our hands and raises her eyes up at me. How are you so sure about this? Because we'll take it as a team. That makes it special to us, contest or not. Contest or no. The contest is important, sure. But being with Kate this whole time has been way more special. I wanted to make sure she knows that. After a pause, she squeezes my hand back before letting go. Her face slightly flushed, or maybe I'm imagining it. I can tell that she's listened to my words. So try not to worry about getting the perfect shot. It'll be great no matter what. That means a lot, Max. I really don't think I have to worry anymore. After one last glance at the sky, Kate's eyes are on me. Well, I'm ready when you are, Max. Lead the way. I'm right behind you. I gotta admit, the clouds above us are gray and ominous, and I feel yet nothing but hopeful. Excited, even. Kate, you have nothing to worry about. Let's give it our best shot. The weather hasn't changed in the time it took me and Kate to get up to the roof. It's still cloudy and chilly. The possibility of rain almost a certainty. Kate hangs back back by the entryway, her arms around her waist. <sighs> I forgot it was colder up here. I smile at her so sympathetically. Maybe I didn't pick the best spot for a photo after all. Sorry, you can wait inside if you want. And miss all the action? As if. She rolls her eyes as if it's obvious, walking over to join me. That's the spirit. Help me scope out the perfect location. A look of doubt crosses her face, but she snaps out of it after only a moment. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for, but I'll do my best. She smiles, looking out at the vast forest of trees ahead of us. You picked a great spot, so I guess it's only fair I find a good subject for the actual photo. I brush my hand over her arm gently. No pressure. We'll find something for sure. Her warm, bright smile is a nice contrast to the overcast sky. I take out my camera and start to look around the area. The sky's not exactly special to look at with all the cloud cover. <clears throat> but they do cast various shadows over the trees, giving the atmosphere a spooky vibe. That could be a cool photo, but maybe something lighter would work better. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> maybe Kate has a different idea. I see her I spy her peering over the edge of the roof and walk over to join her. How's it going? She looks between me and the forest floor below self consciously. Well, I have an idea. I'm not sure it's good enough. <clears throat> I rolled my eyes good naturedly. This isn't just my photo, Kate. What's on your mind? Reassured, she looks back down. <clears throat> Well, it looks like our family of deer is back. Maybe you could... Kate knows me well. Deer are my favorite animals to photograph. Sure, point them out to me. She's about to do just that when the first raindrops hit. Oh man. Before I can even get a good focus on the deer, it begins to pour, sending them running for shelter. It's coming down so hard that we don't even bother opening Kate's umbrella bolting back to the door, leading back downstairs instead. Once we're safely in the doorway, Kate looks over me with concern. Is your camera okay? I shake a few drops of rain out of my head. Yeah. Man, that was crazy. Looks like those deer will be back anytime soon. I lean against the wall and let myself sink down to the floor for a few minutes. I don't want to discourage Kate, but I'm not entirely sure what's due for, you, for our photo now. The heavy rain seems to drown out the world. Kate doesn't answer me for a second, looking looking out into the downpour. She doesn't seem discouraged or sad at all. In fact, she's actually smiling. I wouldn't give up, Max. Look. The clouds have parted and a dazzling ray of sun touches down to 
to the roof, even with the storm force still pouring rain. Whoa, that's a sun shower. Kate smiles at my reaction. Talk about a silver lining. No kidding. Photo worthy, wouldn't you say? She nods, reaching out to touch my arm. Absolutely. It's beautiful. Oh, Max, I knew we'd be alright. I just knew. I lean into her touch gently. Her excitement is contagious. Yeah, how did you know? She shrugs. Just a feeling. Good stuff always seems to happen when I'm around you, Max. I do have that Irish luck, you know. <laughs> Kate giggles at that. Your photos always look awesome. And that's no Irish luck. That's all you. She tucks the strand of hair that came out of her bun as we were running for shelter, not meeting my eyes. Even at the dreariest places you can find light somewhere, I think that's a wonderful gift to have. Not like me. I'm always getting sad over dumb stuff. I can't stop myself from jumping in. Don't beat yourself up. Those bullies were serious jerks. What matters now is that you are not letting them bother you. You're showing them how strong you are. She blushes lightly. That means a lot coming from you, but I don't think I could have been so strong without your help. When I'm with you, I don't worry so much about what other people think of me. So, thanks for giving me that little boost that I needed. I hope I can come help you as much one day. What do you mean, one day? You've already done so much, Kate. I I anyway, so sorry I got rambling. You should probably take the photo while we've got the best lighting. After a beat, I nod. Yeah, you're right. Something's missing, though. She gives me a questioning look. Get your umbrella. I want you to be in this photo, too. Her eyes widen in surprise. You're not serious. I am. You trust me, right? This photo would just, just wouldn't feel right without you in it. Kate doesn't seem to believe me, but she still manages to smile like she's humoring me. Max, I appreciate that, but what's so special about me? Won't I just look out of place? No, you won't. Might as well be a rhetorical question. Are you kidding? Kate, you're such a special person. It's one of the reasons I love to be around you. Her, she Her face flushes slightly at that, but she lets me continue. And not just that, you're a great friend always cheering me on. I know everyone says I'm so talented with my photos, but I don't always believe it. That's why your words mean so much to me. I'm glad I could help you feel better after the rough week you had because you really helped me in the past couple of days too. That makes her smile and now I'm smiling and we're both standing there smiling like dorks, but I don't even care. She needs to hear this. I wasn't sure that I was the right choice to represent Blackwall in the contest, but thanks to you, I feel better about it. So I think it's only fair that you be in the photo, since you helped the photographer remember that she can take, that she can take good photos. She doesn't say anything for a moment, speechless. Max, you are so, so sweet. I don't know what to say. I shrug. Say you'll be in our photo pretty please? She beams again, opening her umbrella and giving it a little twirl before holding it over her shoulder. You better get that camera ready then, Max Caulfield. She winks at me in a moment of extreme confidence and I feel lighter than ever. Thankfully, the rain has decreased in its intensity, so Kate jumps out without much hesitation. She looks over her shoulder at, at, me, at me and smiles, laughing as she splashes around in some puddles that have already formed. This is the side of Kate I wish more people could see. So happy and playful. Now they're finally going to. I just hope they're ready for it. I take the photo with it when the lighting is just right. Kate's not even looking at the camera. Too busy, too busy skipping in puddles and having fun while I do all the work. Not that I mind. I set the camera down on the floor and call out to Kate, raising my voice over the rain. Thanks, Kate! I think we're good! She looks back over at me and smiles, darting over to join me in the, in the dry entryway. Her hair is a little wet, and there's goosebumps on her wrists and arms, but she looks so happy. 
sorry you got a little wet. No big deal. We artists love to suffer for our art, don't we? We both laugh a little as I, at that. I present the photo to Kate and she takes it as gently as if it were glass. She looks over it for a few moments, her face, her face unreadable. I'm dying to know what she thinks of it. How does that look? My voice seems to snap her out of her thoughts and she smiles, handing her photo back over to me. You were right. It looks awesome. I don't look out of place at all. She says it a little too quietly, which gives me second thoughts. What's her one? She shakes her head, smiling. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just cold. I'm still not entirely convinced, but I nod anyway. Let's get you back inside then. I think we both need a cup of tea after that, right? That seems to make her perk up. Sure. Well, that's one for the books. I can't wait to see what everyone thinks of the photo Kate and I took. Personally, I'm really proud of it, no matter who Mr. Dog decides the winners are. I think Kate feels the same way. At least, I hope she does too. She, she got so quiet all of a sudden after she saw the photo. Kind of strange when she looked so happy as I took the picture. What if she didn't actually want to be in the photo? I did spring it on her last minute. I just went with my gut feeling that Kate was what we were missing in our photo. People aren't props, Max. You can't just order them around and get the perfect shot or whatever. Ugh. Alright, hold up, Max. Stop freaking out. Kate's always honest with me so I could have to trust her when she said she approved of the photo. But then, why did she look so sad? I flopped down on my bed and groaned. I love to go talk to her, making sure she's okay, but... What if... I can hear Chloe's voice in the back of my head telling me to stop second-guessing myself. If she were here, she'd be kicking my ass just for hiding in my room and moping. Why should I be nervous to talk to Kate anyway? We have never had a hard time understanding each other. I can talk to her about anything. I feel stupid for even stressing over it. I practically jump to my feet and walk over to my door. I'll just stop by her room and see if she's around. Shit, should I text her first? The thought pops into my head as if one of my hands is turning the door handle, the other one going straight for my phone. I swipe the screen to unlock it and... Shit, that hurt. My head knocks right into something, sending me stumbling backwards and almost onto my ass. How did I run into the door? A soft groan besides me answers my, answers my question. It wasn't the door I ran into. Sorry, sorry, my fault. Kate's looking at the ground, holding her head in one hand. Nice one, Max. He probably gave her a concussion. I shake my head, trying to focus despite the dull throbbing in my brain. I put my hand on Kate's back to steady her. Totally not your fault. Are you hurt? Do you need me to- Kate managed to smile ruefully, holding up one hand. I'm fine. You just knocked me off my feet a little. I can't believe she's joking with me right after I just barrel into her. I am so sorry. I'm such a klutz. Kate shakes her head gently. No, I probably should have knocked first. And I should have been looking where I was going instead of texting. Kate raises both eyebrows. Texting while walking? I hope you don't text and drive, Max. She says it with a smile, but I can hear the underlying concern in her voice. Never. I promise. I don't even have my license. No Mad Max on the road just yet. That makes Kate laugh a little. Well, that makes me feel better. After a beat, she looks down at her shoes. Sorry for getting in your way. We can talk later. She takes one unsteady step out the door, and on instinct, I gently put my arm around her. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Maybe you should sit down. Kate shakes her head while she finds her footing again. No, you were going somewhere. I don't want to be a nuisance. I look away, rubbing the back of my neck. Yeah, about that. Kate sighs. I had a feeling it was something important. Sorry I messed things up. No need for her to feel guilty. I give her a shoulder a re reassuring squeeze so that her eyes meet mine. You're right. It was it was something important. I was actually on my way to see you. I wince a little embarrassed. 
I had been so concerned about Kate that I didn't pay attention and ended up hurting her. Not one of my best moments. But after a moment, Kate, Kate's face brightens and she stands up straighter. Really? What was so important? Good, she's smiling again. Do you want to sit down and we can talk? If you're not busy. Never too busy for you, Max. I keep my arm gently on her shoulder as she walks over to the little couch in my room. I, I know she said she felt okay, but it never hurts to be careful, right? And it was my fault in the first place. Kate doesn't seem to mind, though. Not when she said couch- not, not, not even when said couch is too messy for her to sit down. She gunges me with her arm. I can see you weren't kidding about your room being a mess. Give me a break, I've been busy with the contest. She's trying not to laugh. Look, Albert Einstein had a messy desk and he won a Nobel Peace Prize. I'm clearly destined for greatness. Kate smile gets bigger. Well, I knew that already. I turn my attention to the couch so that I can shove some of the clutter to one side, and also to hide the huge blush on my face and I change the subject. You're, um, sure you don't need the nurse or- I'm fine, Max. Really. You really are a guardian, guardian angel. There she goes, calling me and my, an angel again. I get the same feeling of warmth in my chest that I did yesterday. I sit cross-legged on the floor beside the couch, looking up at Kate in disbelief. You're sure you want to go on record with that, after I just viciously headbutted you, headbutted you? She rolls her eyes, pushing my shoulder playfully. Yes, stop just trying to get out of here. I can't help but laugh a little. Okay, I'm not. I just don't want to let you down. I'm not perfect, you know. She looks a little surprised at me. Nobody's perfect. I know that. Why would I expect you to be? I shrug. Kate has a lot of faith in me, and it's been nice having her around me so much. I just don't want to mess it up. I don't see myself as the most reliable person. I guess I can be lazy, and I have trouble making good grades sometimes. And I'm clumsy as hell, as I just demonstrated. Kate just listens, not saying anything. When she's sure I'm finished speaking, she leans forward and gives me a kind smile. Max, that's not exactly what I mean when I call you an angel. Uh oh. It's not? Guess I just went on that tangent for nothing. Oops. She shakes her head. No, what I mean is, well, besides the fact that you're always looking out for me, I know you're a good person. You have a good heart and you use that to help others. Like with me. I couldn't believe that you asked me to be your partner in the contest. I was letting all those hurtful words the jock said get to me. I did a good job hiding it, but I was a mess. Unconsciously, I shift a little closer to her. She doesn't she doesn't look like she's going to cry, but just in case. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't It doesn't matter now. Your words mean more to me. Same thing same goes for all my friends. But I am so grateful that you reached out and helped me. It gives me a small smile and I return it. I'm glad that I could. We sit in silence for a few moments, not saying anything. Kate has the same expression on her face from earlier, right after we took the photo. You okay? She looks like she's thinking hard, her eyes focused on her folded hands in her lap. I'm fine, just wondering something. Is that why you got all quiet earlier, after we took the photo? Kate wraps her arms around herself in disbelief. Nope. Kate wraps her arms around herself, troubled. You noticed. I feel a little bad. Kate obviously didn't want me to know something was bothering her. I had a question for you, actually. And I want you to be honest with me, Max. Not a problem. The last thing I want to do is be Kate, betray Kate's trust. Sure. What is it? This might sound silly, but it's important that I know. I know it was a last minute idea, but why exactly did you ask me to be in the photo? She's still hung up on that? Maybe I had shaken up her confidence somehow, asking her out of the blue like I did. Remember what I told you in the diner? I mean, look at your drawings, so colorful and happy. 
You know how to bring pictures to life. You proved that today. She shakes her head. I just couldn't believe it. Nobody's ever asked me to be in something important like that. So I was a little nervous, like I wouldn't be good enough. But it was pretty cool. I'm glad she thinks so. I shrug. Like I said, you brought it to life. She looks down at me finally, smiling. I guess so. It was sweet of you in any case. She still doesn't seem convinced, but I'm sure that I would, wouldn't have been able to get a special photo like that with anyone else. I wonder if I said anything to help her realize that. The answer is simple enough. I tilt my head back to give her a slight silly grin, trying to lighten the mood. It's the least I could do for a great friend. She grins. Well, I know that. You have a lot of friends, Max. True, but none of them are quite like you. I straighten up and turn around so we see eye to eye. You're special, Kate. I love spending time with you and going on tea dates and talking. Whatever. You're just nice to be around. And it's like, you light up when we're together, and that makes me happy too. A blush appears on her face and she looks off to the side, touching her cheek. Is it that obvious, huh? Sorry, I just... I like you a lot, Max. I laugh at my fingers graze as my fingers graze over her hand gently, turning her attention back to me. No, that's a good thing. I know you don't share that side to a lot of people. After a beat, Kate replies. No, I just... I don't. It just takes me a while to get used to people, you know? I'm just lucky that you're so patient. She still doesn't give herself enough credit. Maybe I'm the lucky one. If you acted that way every, around everyone, you'd be like, as popular as Dana or Rachel. I bet. You wouldn't have time for a nerdy photographer like me. Take giggles. That would never work. Those two might have the energy to keep up pop being popular, but it's not for me. Still, I would always make time for you, Max. That'll never change. I raise my eyebrows. Even when you get famous from being in our winning contest photo? Nope. Not even then. We both share a grin at that. That's good because I, uh... I really like you too. Getting these words out in the open makes me freeze up a little. Maybe it's just because we've been together a lot this week. But I feel so much closer to Kate. Judging by the grin on her face, I think she might feel the same way. Oh, the feelings are coming out, people. <laughs> we need we need more March Phil in our life, guys. Like this needs to be like a real ship. After a minute, she gets up to her feet, standing standing fine on her own. Looks like she's feeling better. I should probably get going. We have a big day tomorrow. I get up as well, touching her arm gently. Don't be nervous, okay? Kate shakes her head, smiling. Why would I be? Her confidence sets me at ease, too. Just making sure. See you later. Kate, Kate exits, shutting the door behind her. After she leaves, I collapse on my bed, grabbing Captain and hugging him to my chest. It really has been a good week. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, next time, we're going to finish up the Kate route. Uh, hopefully, we got the best ending. Uh, for now, Zelda4293 signing off, and I will see you all in the next video.